Have expats in the Philippines abandoned their families? Let's talk about it. I hope you're doing well. Um, so yesterday, Paul in the Philippines, old dog, new tricks. I don't know if you guys watch him or not, but he put out a video. Um, it was called Relationships in the Philippines. I have expats abandon their family. And he said that it's uh, not talked about enough. And so um, I wanted today, I wanted to kind of talk about that and see what you guys think about it. And um, also, I don't want to take anything away from Paul. Um, so I'm going to leave a link down in the description to the uh, video that I'm talking about so you guys can check it out. Also, um, I'm going to play a part of it I, you know, that I don't agree with. That's why I'm making this video. Um, but, you know, I am an expat, expat <laughs> in the Philippines. Um, I've been an expat in Japan for over 20 years now. And, um, you know, a part about abandoning your family, my mother, uh, my father, before they passed away, and uh, basically all my family told me that, you know, they basically just want me to be happy um, no matter where I am. And so um, I wanted to make this video. Um, Paul and I have a similar situation to where his family supported him in moving to the Philippines. And he doesn't feel like he abandoned them. And, um, you know, I do too. I feel like my family supported me moving to Japan, uh, teaching English in Japan. My family supported me moving to the Philippines. And so um, we do have that in common. The only difference is Paul worked until he was uh, of retirement age, which was 62. And, um, you know, I came here. Uh, I've been living overseas, um, teaching English in Japan first. And then uh, moved to the Philippines, um, and I'm 53 now, uh, not retired. So that's the only difference. Um, but now, you know, I want to play the part that I don't necessarily agree with. Um, and then when it's done, um, I'll tell you why. Um, so let me pull that up real quick and um, show you guys uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Um, let me uh, actually make this bigger so you guys can see it. All right, so let's uh, just listen to it, and then um, I will come back and tell you my feelings about it. I think that there are guys, the one guy, the guys that I disagree with, that I don't think have any business being here, and this is just me being me, and me being judgmental, but I have very, very little respect. If I'm being totally transparent with you, which I try to be, with guys that have little kids and just bail, um, and I know that's 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 been a chronic problem probably since the the, the 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 start of time, where the man comes in and the baby gets born, maybe he gets married, maybe he doesn't, and then he just exits stage left and leaves the lady, you know, high and dry, not cool. Um, but I've met a couple of guys here that were married, have kids, the kids are still in their formulative years, and the guys, I thought, acted very selfishly. They were, they came into some money, they could pay the child support, and that's the long and the short of it. Every week or every month, they just write a check, mail it, or email it, or whatever you do these days, and has no connection with the child whatsoever. I think if you're gonna have a kid, and you should take that responsibility and at least see it to the finish line. Take it to they're 18 or they're out of school or they're, they're on their path and be there as the dad, be present and be involved as much as they will allow and time allows and the circumstance allows. Um, so if you're over here and You've got little kids, and you've bailed out on them, and through no fault of their own, just the fact that you don't no longer get along with their mother, and you're sending the check, I think falls short. So that's just me. That's what I think. I think those guys 
abandon their families because kids need a father figure and you might come back at me and say yeah but the divorces you know they weigh and I agree they do weigh heavily in the mother's favor um, I know they do in the states I've experienced it so maybe mom's got all the custody um, maybe there's visitation you don't feel like doing that program you don't want them on weekends it's unfair it's not right well that's the cards you were dealt pal and so I've been through that and I can tell you that if you petition enough you can get it to where it's 50-50 or you can go ahead and gain custody because of her behavior may not be so up and up and so it's something it's a process you have to stay at it um, I think it's important that the kids and the family and the parents know that you think about them that you love them and that now they should agree I hope that it's time to do something for you all right so those are my thoughts on that um, be sure to share your thoughts as I know you will in the comment section I probably missed a lot of stuff but um, that's what you're here for you're here to help me fill in the blanks all right um, so there you have it um, that was him talking about like he didn't have respect for people who had small children and um, left them um, to you know uh, you know, left them. Uh, he feels like they are ones who have abandoned their family. And so that's the part that I don't necessarily agree with. Um, I believe when you're an adult, um, you do have responsibilities, you know, especially when it comes to young children. And uh, I have two children myself. They are age 12 and 10 years old in Japan. And I also know Paul has children um, whom, you know, they are adults now. Um, and I also know Gio in the Philippines has children in the States, though I'm, you know, I'm not really sure how old they are. Um, and also, he did a series with John, um, you know, the expat that uh, ran out of money, um, basically became homeless in the Philippines. He had uh, two twin babies that, and, uh, you know, he left and, um, you know, he helped him in that decision. And um, so John went back to the States. So, you know, he basically abandoned his family. He didn't stay with them in the Philippines. And he went back in the States, though. He is planning on coming back, apparently. So, but, you know, when, when Paul says, you know, he disagrees with, um, you know, people um, abandoning their, their families, um, you know, um, I, I wonder, you know, I, can't, I have to kind of wonder uh, why um, he says he's not being judgmental, but he has very little respect. So I wonder why uh, when he puts out those kind of videos um, and, you know, there, there's, there are many people in um, different situations. And I personally believe it depends on the situation. I mean, again, look at John. Should he have stayed in the Philippines because he has two twin babies? Um, look at me. Should I have stayed with someone I don't love just because I have children? Um, should I have stayed in Japan Japan because I have children? Um, to me, the answer is no. Um, like I said, it depends on the situation. Um, for example, with me, uh, the mother has the custody. I can see and talk to them as long as I send support and, you know, money. Um, Japan's law makes it so that there's really no dual custody. Um, and the mother basically uh, gets the children most of the time, like it is in parts of the, you know, different parts of the world like it is in the States. Um, and But Japan doesn't believe children can be split in two. So there's no, like... Uh, you don't have to pay child support, um, just like they don't believe a child can have dual citizenship, like, you know, it can't be split in two. But anyway, the point is, so should I be stuck in a situation that I don't want to be in, in a country that I don't want to be in? Um, and, you know, I think many people are in the uh, same boat um, as me, um, and, you know, that's why, you know, many people have left America to be in a, a better situation. And I know people, you know, live the, leave the Philippines because, you know, they don't like it here. And so, um, 
end up moving back um, to America. And, you know, we all know Filipinos have a hard time moving to America because of the visa anyway. Um, now, I'm not saying that people uh, should come here and have babies, you know, and uh, just split uh, and that they are all good people. Um, there are thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of children who are abandoned in the Philippines. And, you know, I don't think that's right. But then again, you know, it does take two to tango. And I think the bigger problem really is sexual education and, you know, Filipino women uh, having children before they can afford it and are ready. But, you know, my main point here is I don't think um, anyone should be stuck in a situation that they don't want to be in. Um, the idea of be, being stuck in a marriage um, makes my head spin. The idea of being stuck in a relationship because of children makes my head spin. You know, I'm American, so I love freedom. And I came to the, the Philippines to have a better life. Um, anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please let me know in the comments uh, below, or you know, below down below, <laughs> what you think about this. Um, it is kind of a, a sticky subject, and it has not been talked about enough, so I just wanted to give my opinion on it, and I hope to hear yours. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. Anyway, guys, you have a great week, um, and I'll see you in another video.